again, my name is Trudy Nielsen. I'm the Aboriginal Resource Teacher for School District 73. And today is the day of Sequentmook. And so we're not in the classroom, we are at home today and we are honoring, um, acknowledging one another in the Sequentmook. This is my son. And we are going to be following a video that is on YouTube with Shakotan elders using the Shakotan language to teach how to make bannock. I'm not a bannock maker. I know that is very terrible of me, but I never considered myself a very good baker, despite the fact that both of my grandmothers tried very hard to teach me and both got very frustrated trying to teach me. I'm a good cook in other areas, but never been a baker. So hopefully, these beautiful elders will be able to teach me and my son how to make a really good batch of bannock. Um, all right, so we're going to start. So we've got we've already, the, washed our hands. we've already washed our hands with soap and, and warm water, and we have the ingredients that they have told us to get: uh, salt, flour, sugar, baking powder, and we have our measuring cups. So this is about a, this is one cup. I I don't have the little measuring cups because I'm not a baker. And I had the one big one, so I measured, and this is a cup, and this is a cup. Okay, so we're going to get going, and we're going to see who makes the better bannock. Okay. I am making... So she's saying, get the oil ready. We've got some oil, oil all ready to go. I should probably put it on low. And... So she's saying, how many cups of flour? One? Two? Three? Okay, you, you can. Yeah. How many cups? Okay, everyone shh. So that was four. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna do yeah, okay. Make sure it's full. One. Oh, you want this one? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Two. And I'm making some tea right now. Um from my first video that I did earlier, um, I shared the Labrador tea. I've been making some, and I've had it in my kettle for actually a couple of days. It gets better with age, stronger. Um, Whoa, that's a lot. I don't just that's measure. Enough. Well, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, that's not a the tea. master. Like, yeah, it is. is that I guess so. Like just. It. Wing in it. I know that's not really the best thing to do when you're that's trying to bake, but anyway. So after four cups of flour, you just continue on with the video and see um, what is next. Okay. How do I? Ah, this is gonna be real fun. Okay. I'm not a baking powder. Tablespoons of baking powder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Is it a teaspoon? Oh, it's a teaspoon. So, one, two, three, four. I think so, and I think they were teaspoons. Just hoping they were teaspoons and not tablespoons. I don't know. Um, and she definitely had like a metal spoon for. because I'm getting ahead of you and then I'll tell you what to do. for another cup. So that's two. And that looks like it's all she's doing. Two cups. And then she's starting to mix. So. Um, then you mix it with your metal spoon. Mix all the dry ingredients, and, and she's just mixing it all together. And it's looking pretty doughy. Well, you got other ones. And then she's kind of folding it. So. I guess that's the word, folding it, I don't know. I think that's a baker's word. And then you're getting the oil hot. It looks like you're not getting it too hot. They, oh, this one's looking lovely, actually. So that's, hey, I made some dough. <laughs> I hope this turns out, okay. Okay, so she didn't, and I remember hearing that you, you know, uh, then you, once your ingredients are all mixed, then you add your two cups of water. Yeah, they look good. Okay, so then she's actually got like a flower here just for. So then she's basically squeezing the uh, dough off. That. Oh. Yeah. And okay. So I'm going to. Oh, so she says, don't squeeze it like it's. Like. Mix it with your metal. Um, and then they turn it down a little bit so that it's, I guess, not too, too hot, like, so it splatters and needs some tea. Actually, 
or use my granny's old tea cup. Magic lamp. Ball went missing. Ball went missing. Ball went missing. Okay, so that's heating up. I think I'll make a few pieces. And I hope these aren't too big. Oh, well, those will just be big pieces of batik, right? Who doesn't like a big piece of batik? Although a nice mini size one is good too. So, just making like I guess. No, I think you need to. Oh, you start to fold it with your hands, but I, I know that you're not supposed to over mix it. No, you, you need to mix it and get all those dry pieces. Okay. Being so good right now, I'm like shocked. Which one will be a mini one? Oh, that is so good. Oh, she feels good on the lungs. Okay, so they've got clippers or tongs for clipping. I'm gonna get my tongs out. Oh, I need to get my paper towel out. That's a mini one. And hers looks a lot stickier than mine because it's actually sticking to her hands. So these, I hope they're not gonna be too dry. Hmm? Maybe you should add a little bit more water, a little bit more water to yours just to see what the difference is. I mean, it's up to you. Hmm? I am not trying to jinx you. I'm not trying to like mess yours up, but we should see the difference. Exactly. Hers looks stickier than than mine, like quite a bit stickier. And I'm going to. You gotta use your hands, baby. You just said Oh yeah, no, but I mean for mixing. Oh, I don't think that's hot enough. This is kind of a mess. Um, you want it to come together into like one mound so you can squeeze the. Um, yeah. 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 I'm really feeling like this is dry. I think, no. Look, hers. Is, her, hers was literally like gooping on her hands. Oh my gosh, she's got her first one in and it's so golden. Okay, so it's it's bubbling pretty good. The, the hot oil has definitely got to be hot, hot. How are you doing? So, so what she does is she like squeezes off like a ball, and then she just kind of makes it even. She could add a little bit more flour, but that's exactly how hers looked. The sticking to her hand, and if it's too sticky, add some flour. Just like add a little handful of flour. We'll see. At least we have two batches, and we know which one is that's going to be the awesome one. And which one. It could be yours. You rigged mine. Okay, that's it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Actually, I really should have done this a really long time ago. But like I said, like if it was baking around, I was out the door. But Granny taught me how to make the lump out of things. Lasagna. <laughs> Lasagna. 
Meatloaf? <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm excited. Like it's actually still Okay, then put. It's too much water. Hey, how about we. Can I just try? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So add a little bit more. And so that, see? That's all you gotta do. Okay. Oh, and then they do this thing where they poke it. With the fork, so that I guess it gets air in there and it doesn't get really like puckly or crackly. So I'm going to try this one. And then, so. So they poke it with the fork as soon as it goes in. And I guess, let's see, it down a little bit. That. It makes it fluffier, I guess. I don't know. It's really <laughs> Here. Okay, it's so sticky. Here, you want me to fix it? How did you? Can you carefully man those bannocks in there? Just like, don't flip them or anything. Here. Look, now I'm a master baker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at me teaching you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you messed it up. Mess Look at that. It it's great now. Like, add more water. Mm. Oh, it actually is really good. Yeah. Oh, these are going to be so amazing. <laughs> Put them on my doorstep for anybody who wants to. Uh, Okay, going in for the third one, and I think the trick is definitely want it to be even throughout. I'm going to do the. Oh, are you okay? This video could be pretty long, but. What are we at anyway? Oh, 17, 18 minutes. Okay, so maybe what we'll do after the first ones are ready, then we'll look. Um, yeah, so you, you just kind of squeeze a ball off. Okay, these are looking. Well, the first one's starting to look a little bit golden on the one side. They're a little bit heavy feeling, but for our first batch, I'm pretty proud. I mean, I get that. That's probably why both my grandmas love to bake, because it's just like a science, and when it works out, it's exciting. <laughs> if it does what it's actually supposed to do. All the measurements are precise. Okay. Oh, there you go, man. Oh. Okay, that's the first one. Might be a little bit too high. Oh, that's a good one. I hope they're not going to be too heavy. Okay. Yep. Yeah, um, you want to? Well, it depends on how big you want it. Like, but you want it. To stretch it out, and that's why she was doing this, right? And then kind of pull it. I think these might be too thick, but I might make that one fit in quite a bit thinner. Well, that's going to be big ones. <clears throat> oh, this one's puffed right up. I really think the secret is poking it with your fork so that it gets that air in there and it's lighter. Oh my gosh, this, I'm going to be like eating so much bannock today, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> hope they're not crackers. We'll have to go deliver some to grandma and grandpa. Okay, 
there was some really funny story. Maybe Brian will like some. After you share it, I need a Pardon? Uh, so, trying to make it as even as possible. I think that's really the key too, so that it cooks evenly. That feels a little on the dry side of town. Don't um, work it too much. I think that's also important that you don't work it too much. But she's like, she just adds flour to it. It's too cold. Uh -oh. oh, this might actually be amazing. That looks like a good one. So I wonder what I did with that one. That way. Okay, it's a little. Hey, not bad. It's a little on the heavy side of town. So that's my first piece. I think it needs to be cooked a little longer. Yeah, it definitely needs to be cooked a little longer. Um, I'm so impressed with that one, though. It's really uh, fluffy. Fluffed up. This one. Oil might be too hot, and it's cooking too fast on the outside, and it's getting too crusty. I'm sorry, but I just have to try it. Oh, a little crunchy on the outside, but I'm definitely having it not quite done. But and I think definitely you want it not too thick, so that. I like that. Oh, get, get that air in. I think it's too hot. Um, I'm sorry, but I just gotta try this with butter <laughs> and salt. You wanna try it? You're gonna wait for yours? Yeah. Okay, so this is, I like it with butter. And a little bit of salt. It's good. Like, it's definitely not the best I've ever had. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Down and that seems to be better. I think that's a good temperature. You heat it up high first and then you bring it down. It's actually good enough to have another bite, and this time I might need to put some jam on it. Oh my goodness, I have some huckleberry jam here somewhere. Oh yeah, huckleberry jam on my first Bannock crowd. Guys, it... oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm thinking this looks done. A little too brown, I think. I cooked those ones too fast on the outside. Are you ready to put one in? Do you want to put a batch in? Okay. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna get rid of. Uh, well, you can actually cook. You can actually put that in careful. Do you want me to help you? Stretch it out a little bit because you don't want it like a little hockey puck. You want it nice and even. So yeah, stretch it out, stretch it out. Oh my gosh, these are not bad. They kind of look like Kentucky Fried Chickens, but I'm sorry, but this is just heavenly actually. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Hmm? 
even like rock hard or crackers. They're not bad at crackers. I do. Mm -hmm. Not better at it. Okay, are you ready to put that in? Careful. Put it down. Do you want me to do it? Okay. So Gently, and then poke it, poke it, poke it, poke it. Poke it one more time with the fork. It's done, so we don't want. I don't think we're okay. And I think this is. Well, don't because you don't want the oil to splatter. All right. So after Bentley's piece comes out. Then we will make the final decision on which recipe, which they're basically both the same, but we added a little bit more water to them, which recipe is our favorite. And, and then, hmm, it's going to be good with salmon tonight. I do too. We're gonna we're gonna cook it all. But after your piece is done, we will decide which one which recipe is more to our liking. Like I said, they're both basically the same thing, but we just added more water to Bentley's. And don't overwork it, that's the thing. You don't want it to be like I know that that's not a good thing when you work with it too much. Oh Bentley. This looks actually pretty fluffy. Looks good. Oh, are you gonna make a second one then? Yeah. No? Yes. Yeah. I love that. Uh, oh, so you know what? I think we should um, not make this more than half an hour. We have two minutes left. Sorry if it was a little long, but you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want. But we know the recipe no. works. And you can get it <laughs> on um, YouTube. I've also posted it to our um, educational page. And, it and it will be in the description. And you can watch the video yourself and learn some of the words. Given it a flip. And yeah, I hope everybody's getting out there and doing some things today that are in honor of Day of Chiquimuk. Inside. Yeah, inside, inside safe. And like I said in my earlier video, I'm not even harvesting, but I did go out last weekend and I got my um, cottonwood buds. So I did go, but I went straight to the to the creek and then came straight home. Nobody was there. I didn't come in contact with anybody. I just came out of two-week quarantine and I got my um, cottonwood buds infusing now. So we will go out and get some juniper this afternoon and I know a spot where there'll be nobody and we will go out and get some a few more cottonwood buds just so you can see how that's done and maybe some uh, red willow. Spread it out. Okay. You want me to put it in or are you going to put it in? Good. Poke. 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 One more. Two more poke. Bentley. Oh, you're going to be so out of the on your toes. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. This thing was just not fun. I think yours might even be better. I think it's actually fluffier and lighter looking. Okay. 
What do you think? Oh, should we put another one in? This one actually looks pretty good. It's a, it's a little on the heavy side, but it's definitely edible. It's not heavy, like, like the really, I mean, I didn't, there's different it's recipes. Okay, and butter. Yeah, but that doesn't feel, like there's different recipes, so I'm sure the different recipes have a different outcome, like some are lighter, some are a little bit heavier, it depends. But that's a pretty nice little beauty there. Okay, I actually think that we, for real, Definitely, it's fluffed up way more. Yours. Well, look at how puffy that is. So maybe that'll be lighter too. Okay, so I think I'm gonna. I think I'm going to. Uh, can I have that? Okay, I think I'm going to take yours out. And we will have our final decision on whose is our favorite. That's yours, so it's a hot. So, and then I'm going to take the one that I thought was really. Actually, that's a nice one. But that's my other one that turned out really nice, and this is Bentley's. Ooh, actually, wow. Okay, excuse me. That's Bentley's. That's mine. Should we cut them in half and then just have a little taste test? This one? This one? Yeah, I'll see what. So, what? I know. Wow. It's Look at that, it's a little bit dense on the inside. It probably could have cooked a little longer, but. So look at the inside. And it's pretty light. Oh, it's hot, hot, hot. Do you want some butter on it? Okay. And jam? Okay. How about we just cut it into quarters here and then we try it. Okay. Do you want jam? Butter and jam? Okay, so this is yours. And uh, there you go. Come on over here. It's a little hot. And butter for me. Too hot? No. Mm. A little doughy on the inside. Could have been cooked longer. Look at this one though. This one I think is going to be your magic one. I mean, I don't think I'm going to want to eat. Anyways, the recipe works. We can make bannock now. We're going to continue to work on our skills, make them lighter, make them fluffier, and just get better at bannock making. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you a couple of first. Oh yeah, oh yeah, make sure to check out the other video that we That's gonna be in the link? Yeah. And, and the description. everybody. Bye.